the White Snake Brotherhood lair in this city, um, having gathered some information about um, the King Blackadder framing the previous Queen Blackadder, um, for burning down the, the brothel, and you guys are... I'm actually not sure what Phoenix is doing, but um, at least Adrian and uh, Corvus were kind of bringing that information to the the Blackadder mansion here, which I just realized is hidden behind grass. So I need to that. Okay. It should not be hidden behind grass. This um this particular map here is always kind of like messing up its depth of the various layers <laughs> and this is a pretty complex layered map so like when I, I just moved like the big gray background back behind everything again and that tends to mess up everything else so let me just fix this real quick here oh wait I can't send it to the back because then yeah so that looks better at least okay Um, uh, Adrian and, <laughs> Adrian and Corvus, um, you had last session befriended a, a serving lady named, uh, Catherine, mm -hmm. who, um, was sympathetic to uh, Lady Blackadder's um, plight and believes that she is actually innocent. Um, but you two have been summoned to um, the King Blackadder. Okay. Uh, there is a door warden uh, who says, Hello, little peasants. Please surrender your weapons to me before you see the king. Peasants, eh? You would not part an old man from his walking stick. <laughs> <laughs> you have quite a pointy end on your little walking stick there, madam. Me? No. I prod him in the chest with it. <laughs> Seeing if I can scratch his armor. <laughs> uh, he, uh, he, he motions to, uh, to a, uh, to a guard that's standing by. It says, relieve her of her pointy stick. And he makes a motion to grab your, uh, your halberd, Adrian. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I will surrender it willingly because, yeah, we're being invited in. We might as well not start trouble. I'm going to lean my spear against this wall. I strongly suggest that no one else... Okay. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the guard will kind of move sort of protectively in front of it, but not touch it. Uh, so, okay, you guys, um, get ushered... Oh, by the way, I should point out, um... With the information that you guys have, I believe that would technically be known as leverage um, against the king. So you can legitimately use a parlay move uh, on the king as you... Uh, in, in regards to the information that, that you have. So, um... The great hall where the king is sitting at his throne um, is decked out with the banners of the of the Black Adder family, 
uh, with a crown above a snake on a background of black and green. Um, the king uh, sees you approach and kind of frowns because he hasn't seen, he doesn't know what you're, what you're quite doing here. What can I do for you two? actual purpose for what do we have what our actual purpose for being here was like um i come think right we were going to we were going to ask for an audience with lady blackadder oh okay yeah <clears throat> um Given that Adrian has this old, um, this old front of being Lady Black Adder's niece or some some relation, close relation, would she be able to bluff her way into um, convincing this guy that? She is a relative and would like to visit with Lady Blackadder at this point. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, make a uh, make a charisma to fight danger for that. Okay. Yeah. Does anyone want to help with that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I will attempt to assist. Yeah. That helps. For sure, <laughs> that helps. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Like Lord Blackadder says, I don't recognize you from any of my uh, relatives' soirees, parties, whatnot. Who are you again? Yeah. And then I imagine Corvus is like, No, no, no. Don't you remember? <laughs> Uh, all right, so the, the king is, um, let's see, I'm 79, uh, I'm mm. okay, the king, um, yeah, the, the king is gonna, gonna do a little bit of, um, a little bit of grand serving here, he's gonna say, kiss the hems of my robes, and you may see, go down and see Lady, Lady Blackadder. I wish I was a thief. That way I would be able to know if he had laced his robe hems with, like, um... <laughs> <laughs> you could discern realities and ask what is dangerous. Okay, yeah. I, yeah, kneeling down, I take the hem of his robe, and just before pressing my lips to it, I try to like sniff it see if there's any sleeping powder or, <laughs> or what have you talk, talk about paranoid though when you, even the robes are suspected of being poisoned well you we um, can't trust this family uh yeah you, you do notice that the, the fur um hem of his robe is is dusted with some kind of a powder. Yes. Oh, I just noticed this? Yes. Okay, well then I will pretend, but like turn my, and kiss my knuckles instead and then release it and remain <sighs> subservient and such um, in, in such okay. a position. A, a, a bit of the dust is, is clinging to your hand, but it doesn't seem to be like making it numb or fall asleep or anything like that. Okay. Corvus, what do you do here? Hmm. Hmm. 
I'm not inclined to kiss the robes of a usurper. <laughs> Do you say that? Because you're going to get arrested pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, I say that. Uh, my eyes go wide. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, uh, um, the, the king uh, shouts for his guards and says, um, These two want to see Lady Blackadder. Bring them to her. But then um, escort them from, from the friends. Um, the guards will come forward, rush you out of the room. Um, the doors will slam shut behind you. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the guards will leave you at, um, at the stairwell down to the dungeons and point down and say, you have your audience, get down now. Do they, do they let us take our weapons? Uh, yes, you can pick up your weapons when you leave. Wow. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, I guess we'll head down the stairs, um, keeping an eye out for any people with, you know, large clubs or manacles or things trying to sneak up behind us. Yep. Uh, all right. Um, uh... I'm, I'm sorry. I, I I don't remember the name of the servant that I that I said was um, sympathetic to Lady Blackadder. Was it Catherine? Yeah, something like okay. this. Okay. Um. So I can track six. Uh, Catherine. Mm -hmm. Um. You'll you'll hear the the patter of footsteps behind you, and um, the 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 maid Catherine will will come rushing up to you you two before you. Uh, before you manage to to get down there, within your um, shot of the guard that's escorting us as well. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> um, she will say that um, she she um, was uh, was dusting the uh, the the bookcase um, outside of. Uh, the uh, the King Black Adder's uh, personal chambers, and she heard him in there, um, and he said that he. She heard him say that he. Um, he needed um, Lady Black Adder, and these two um, people interested in seeing her, taken care of. Um, she didn't hear anyone respond, um, but then she heard him say that uh, that sounds like a good plan, and then he gave an evil laugh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um. I look to the guard to see the guard's reaction. Hmm. The, um... Uh, this guard is actually, um, one of the ones who is secretly sympathetic with Lady Blackadder. So he will kind of give a look, um, at, uh, Catherine and kind of shield um, you guys from being overheard by by anyone else. We are able to sense that he is a sympathizer. Um. Yes, La lady. Uh, sorry. Um. The the maid. Um. I mean, Catherine is being very frank in front of this. This guard. Given although, that, yeah. But I'm just. His reaction would cue us off that. Yeah, we can probably trust him as well. I'm just trying to. So, is it uh, is it prison break time? Do we think? Are we going there? 
I think so. I, I like I'm I believe the sooner we make our escape the better. Okay. Preferably with the lady in 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 our company. Yeah. Um we should probably send Catherine into town to try to get Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Um as his skills might just come in handy. <laughs> yes, I'm sure I can smooth talk the army of uh, sword wielding guards into you know just turn the all away. Let us go. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Make them believe we're the cleaning staff. It'll be. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds legit. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, Catherine. Um, Catherine suggests that maybe the guards should go into town and she should stick with you guys. Says the guard might have some might has the livery of the the um the black adders on him and he might be able to pass through town a little easier than she would. Sure, that would work. Okay. Alrighty. So um Oh, the the three of you descend the stairs into the. Are you guys going down now? Hmm? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Oh, the three of you descend down into the dungeons. Um. Okay, the the dungeon is arranged in a long hallway. Um, there is cells on either side, and there's one um, cell at the very back of this long hallway. Um, in the middle of this uh, hallway, there is a, it looks like a black flickering flame in the, like a candle flame, kind of in the middle of this of this corridor, um, and um, as you guys step down, a a long hook on a chain will. Um, will uh, flip out from somewhere behind this uh, this flame and hook into Catherine and drag her um, uh, to the, towards the other side of the of the corridor. Oh, um, that's not good. No. Uh, I tried to catch her. You what? I tried to prevent her from being dragged away. Oh, oh okay, great. Um, okay, make a make a strength to fight danger. Hmm. Wow. Uh, Adrian, you want to grab on too? Yes. Uh, you want to aid or interfere? Yes, I do. Let me aid it. <laughs> I thought Corvus was a warrior or a fighter. Why is his strength minus one? I'm an elf fighter. I don't need strength. I have dex. <laughs> Awkward crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Um, the uh, I, I I should I should say that the 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 um the flame is not actually blocking all of the corridor. It's just kind of burning in the middle of it. There is room, um, like on either side of it to go around, mm -hmm. which is where the the chain is coming that hooked uh, Catherine. Okay. Okay. Um. You guys together manage to grab and hold on to Catherine's arms as she gets dragged uh, towards the back of this corridor. Um, 
the uh, the hook is like stuck in her side. It's like she's bleeding all over the place. She's screaming. Um, and as you guys come, like get dragged uh, towards one side of the flame, you can see that yes. um, what is dragging her forward, what is dragging Catherine back is a huge, obscenely fat demon that is drawing in this chain. Uh, okay. Um, that worries me. And with that, let's cut to Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix, sure. Phoenix, hey! In your yeah. gloomy, drunken stupor, um, you notice that there is a a rat with a backpack that is sitting on your chest, uh, looking at you with an inquisitive eye. Look, I don't know what you heard, but I pay no more the banks, okay? You pay for your own, and we'll be okay. He kind of goes to pat the rat, and realizes his hand is probably bigger than the rat, and kind of just waves it at him in a kind of drunken, hello, and starts giggling to himself. <laughs> Alright, the rat pulls out a little, a little tiny dagger, and sketches an O, an M, and a G on your hand. I kind of go, I, you know that way you swat at a fly and you don't really think you're going to do it? He kind of does that to the rat. It's like, no, bad little person. No, stabby, stabby. And he just kind of knocks the rat around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, uh, the, uh, the rat will uh, take its little dagger and, like, prick you in the chest a couple times to sober you up some more. No! I don't want to wake up, mommy! No! <laughs> Again, tries to wave at it, but because it's a small target, I very much doubt he hits it. Uh, <laughs> why do you keep stabbing me? Buy me a drink. Drinks are good. Stabby bad. <laughs> the, the rat will give you a look of disgust. And from its little backpack, it'll take a letter and a package and just, like, plop it down onto the bloody uh, little stabby wound on your chest and scamper away. Just remember, he yells after you, you might think I'm disgusting, but everyone here hates rats. Everybody. We hate rats. We hate rats. <laughs> he starts up a chant of we hate rats before kind of go trying to read the now bloody letter. <laughs> Rats. Uh, you you hear a tiny little horn and a swarm of rats. No, no, no. Uh, okay. The uh, the letter is from um, Lady. Oh my God. She says. Okay. <laughs> she's taken an interest in your training, um, and uh, as a trial, uh, would like you to wear the following disguise in the package. Hmm. And she will I'm be watching to make cautious. sure that, that, you, uh, that you are wearing the disguise. I'm going to make sure to check out what the disguise actually looks like, some, like in the toilets or something, because I'm not going about dressed in a wig and a tutu, uh, just as a uh, trial. So he staggers over uh, to the toilet, kind of the what once he's out of the public eye, takes out the package and kind of rifles for it, sees what's there. Okay, the package is um, a rainbow wig, white face paint, and a red nose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That makes sense. Yes, I can see why no one would ever suspect the clowns. Um, you know what, I think he's drunk enough that he probably does try and put that on. He just kind of staggers his way through and goes, I need bigger shoes, I need big floppy shoes. 
<laughs> oh, I can juggle! And he, he tries to juggle his throwing daggers and drops them. Fortunately, missing the rats in the restroom, picks them up, and yeah, he, he, he's, he takes his time, but eventually he comes out looking like a clown. <laughs> Uh, there's, uh, there's a few little street urchins that are, um, huddled in this, in this bar where you are, and they, they drop their forks, and they say, it's Gonzo! Yay, Gonzo! Yay. I'm far too far, Gonzo. Uh, I need something to sober me up. Yes, it's me! He kind of does a ridiculous over-the-top bow and jumps up onto a table, misses the table and kind of falls over. <laughs> Splat into somebody's stew. Yay, Gonzo. <laughs> I I'd like to think this is where the guard finds me, <laughs> face down in a stew, wearing a clown costume. <laughs> Alright, um... Yeah, you um, you're gonna hear that a uh, a uh, a town crier is outside the bar, um, and he announces that the Lady Blackadder will be executed on the morrow. That is all. <clears throat> Good day. Hey, executions! Woo! Do I know that person? Children don't know Miss Blackadder person. Ah, uh, no. No. Okay. Yeah, it's probably nothing. Barkeep, not around. <laughs> the uh, the the street urchins in the corner are still looking at you, expecting. Um. um uh. Do a trick. Okay, you kind of. Uh, uh, you want to see a magic trick? Well, there's a there's a wizard's college just over there. You just need to get a boat. No, bugger off. Let me drink. <laughs> oh. uh, all right. The um, a a, a guard dressed in the black hat livery will um come in with the door and peer around. Um. Say that he's looking for someone named Phoenix. I'm Gonzo. <laughs> oh, Gonzo. Yeah, you gotta come to my kid's party next week. Uh, yeah. You seen a guy named Phoenix anywhere? Um, no. Should, should I pass on a message? But sure, I can appear at your party. Just usual address, yeah? He, he kind of points to three feet to the left of the guard convinced that's where he's standing. Why are you standing in the wall? How are you doing that? <laughs> uh, right. um, uh, outside, you're going to hear the, um, the stampede of a, a crowd um, heading towards the, uh, the manor. And um, the uh, the shout of guards as they um, they close the gates and kind of man the uh, the fence around the black cat mansion. Uh, okay. Does the guard respond in any way to my uh, asking if he can if he needs me to pass on a message? Uh, yes, he will say that. Um, your companions are in the mansion. Uh, well, sorry, Phoenix's companions are uh, are in the mansion, and uh, they were requesting your assistance in helping them uh, talk with the Lady Blackout. But, but seems like that might be an issue now. Uh, yeah, there's lots of people there. Did they tell them if that the big, loud, stinky, um, yelly guy was there? But so tall, so wide, always yelling abuse at poor Phoenix. What's that now? He basically is describing Johan and asking if he's there. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, stop him then. They they deserve to die. 
<sighs> uh, I mean, I'll pass it on to Felix. I'm sure he'll take all due precautions and make sure they're safe and whatever. <laughs> Alrighty. Once the once the guard does walk off to go and look for him, he'll uh, finish up his pint and then actually head towards the uh, uh, the Black Adder re- re- residence, kind of muttering under his breath about Cor- Corvus owing him a drink, and he is not getting out so easily by getting himself killed. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, the the attitude of the crowd that's kind of um, gathered around the fence here. Um, is that they they have they have suspicions um, that the lady Blackadder is innocent or should at least you know, be given some kind of a some kind of a fair trial here before her execution. Um, the the main spokesperson se- uh, is a seems to be kind of a priest. He has an octopus. Um, draped on his head and the tentacles are kind of hanging down like dreadlocks. Um, and he is arguing, uh, he's kind of has this mob sort of, uh, surrounded the, uh, the palace here and the, uh, the guards are kind of glaring at this, this priest who is arguing angrily with them. I think Phoenix would wander amongst the crowd trying to incite them, you know, making up random rubbish that, um, well, not making up actually, because I think I know enough actual horrible stuff that this leader has done, and telling them about it, trying to get them all really angry, and then kind of start a chant to get tear through the place and have the crowd attack the guards. Um... Yeah, I, I think that'll be his plan in Drunken Stupor. It seems like, yeah, why not start a riot? So yes, he this um that that is the well thought out reasoned response from Phoenix or drunk Phoenix is burn it to the ground and we hate rats. Uh, that'll be the side chant for obvious reasons. As you uh, as as you've walked, you've picked up a little a little crowd of your own Phoenix of uh, street urchins and kids who are gazing up adoringly at you. Okay, street urchin kids, Gonzo says, spread the word. We need to uh, get in there and stop this evil baddie. Gonzo doesn't like evil baddies because clowns are good. Clowns are pure. Clowns are... I might need to throw up. Uh, But clowns do not stand for this. Yes, go for it. (laughs) Can I try and convince the uh, children (laughs) to start a riot? (laughs) Ah, <laughs> uh, alright. Uh, Phoenix, make a charisma check on that. Sure thing. Boom. <laughs> 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 alright. The uh, the kids uh, listen to you, and they nod along with what you're saying, and they scatter. They grab paving stones. They throw it at the mansion. They uh, they go and spread the word, and soon there's an even bigger uh, crowd out there. Um, a uh, a few um, a few of them manage to uh, to hit some of the guards in the head with like paving stones that you know bounces off the helmet. Um, but pretty soon there's there's an open conflict going on at the gates of this place. Um, the uh, the crowd and the guards are fighting back and forth. Uh, I think I'll swap into a guard disguise and then just kind of walk through uh, as if I'm running to report that there's an attack. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, let's um. Swap or don over your current disguise. Dawn over. I, I still want to have the little <laughs> red nose, because ju- nice. ju- uh, I don't want to fail Miss uh, oh, oh My God's um, task. So I'm just showing that not only am I Gods of the Clown, I'm Gods of the Clown ca- guard captain. 
He's not very well known around these parts, but he definitely exists, and I have not made him up. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, swap, swap back to the other guys, because uh, moving on. Drunken Phoenix for a while. Alright, let's, um, let's switch briefly back to the other two here in in the dungeons, um, you can hear very far off, kind of the the uh, shouts of of something off in the distance. You can hear the um, the guard running um, in the mansion towards the <coughs> towards the uh, towards the gates of the of the mansion uh, grounds. Mm -hmm. um, but you guys, meanwhile. Are confronting a demon, a yeah. massively fat demon, that is hooking in Catherine. It's, it's by a chain, right? So there's no way yes, we could just quickly long, sever it with something. Uh, um, a chain with a hook on it, yeah. Is there any way to tell what the demon is made out of? Given that he's using a chain to drag someone in, uh, is he attackable, or is he armored in some, in some respect? Um, you can make a discern reality. I would. I don't need this. DC. Yeah. What is useful or valuable? Okay. Um. Uh, okay. You would, um. You would estimate that this this black flame here is how the demon got into this area so um presumably he's going to go back that same way um so if you don't want him escaping you can kind of get between him and the flame mm -hmm. or um you know if you really want him to flee you could try to push him into the uh, the flame. But so not with our dear Catherine. What's that? Not with our dear Catherine, though. Oh. I would prefer we save her first. Okay. All right. Um, Corvus will command his spear to extend into the demon. And see if you know. See if that damages it at all. Okay. All right. Great. Yeah. Um. Make a. Make a hack and slash. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <Yeah. laughs> all right. Um. Your spear. Damn, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Yeah. That's, uh, that's the first time I've rolled that high for damage. Yeah. Alright, your, um, your spear will shoot forward, um, extending, and it will pierce the demon's, uh, like, bulging, uh, stomach. Um, there's gonna be a flicker like a, a aura of hell flame that surrounds this guy as your spear goes into him. Um, but uh, as as your spear retracts, it it will start to um, it will start to gush blood, and the demon will glare at you with hate. Uh, I, I start advancing toward. And it will gesture with its other with its other hand that's not pulling in the chain. And a hellish 
fireball will start to roar down the ch down the corridor towards you guys. And Catherine. Um. Uh, I will try to cover Catherine with my shield. Okay, cool. Make a defend. Nice, nice. Uh, Adrian? Adrian. Uh, I'm trying to think of something and can't really at the moment. Well, I have an idea. That is this um, flame. I would... You, you do have counter spell. I do, but how do I know this is a spell? This seems like just an ability a demon would have. Just a... I mean, I could try a counter spell, but... At the same time, yeah. Uh, if, if you want to try and determine that, you could try and spout lore. Okay, I will. Really quick? Yep, I will. Spout lore. Uh to see if I know. I know nothing <laughs> oh about boy. this thing. Oh um, that uh. said... That said... I will take my chances, take a gamble that it is a spell, and I will try to counter it anyway. Okay. Try to counter. Alright. Alrighty, so um, even though you have no idea, I don't know, I'm still thinking that that failure has some consequence of the spout war. Um, Alright, you stand there stupidly for a second, um, but as a last reflex, you manage to um, pull yourself together and try and counter this this fireball, and it fizzles um, around you, Adrian. Corvus. The, the fireball um, does, or my counter spell. The the fireball does. Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, you manage to ward yourself um, from the flames of this fireball coming down. Um, Corvus. Corvus, your shield is going to glow red hot in the in your defense of this of you and and uh, Catherine. Um, but the flames do uh, do break on your shield, and you do manage to to defend you and her against the attack. I still want to try something. I don't know if it'll work. The, uh, the demon will give a deep belly laugh and say, my shit is more powerful than you, and will belch forth a massive swarm of grubs that will flood the floor and creep towards you guys. Um and make footing very, very treacherous as they scramble and squirm towards you guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The demon will turn around, ignore you guys, and look for his... Uh, you know, he'll actually call out, Lady Blackadder, where are you? Oh, no. No, you don't get away that easily. I'm going to skewer him again. Yeah, turning your back on the guy with the extendable spear is not a great plan, even for a demon. <laughs> well, gee, 
if your shit's so powerful, maybe they should have sent it instead of you, because you're not doing too great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, the uh, the aura of Hell Flame will again um, uh, wrap around your your spear as it as it as it shoots forward into this demon, and the point of your spear uh, will just get caught in a fold of its its uh, its fatty flesh here, and he will snort and uh, uh, say, that was but a pinprick. Um, Meanwhile... You have the strange urge to say, well, he would know all about pricks now, wouldn't he? But I'm sure it's nothing. <laughs> I actually wanted to send you a message, but uh, I had forgotten to do so before the game started. What are you wanting done with all the bonds from Johan, or are you wanting to sort that at the end of session? Yeah, I think we'll sort that out at the end of the session, because, uh, yeah, if he's not here anymore, that's going to be an issue. Yeah, it's just I'm a couple of points away from uh, a level up, so I was hoping I could get it just before facing weird people. I'm sure I'll manage uh, on what I have at the minute. Uh, okay, I think, yeah, he's in disguise. I guess I'd be keeping an ear out, hearing if I can, well, literally trying to hear um, the companions speaking, uh, yelling, that kind of thing, and make my way towards that. So, is that discern realities, or what would yes. you like to do? Yep, yep, make a discern reality as you... Uh... Oh, thanks. Nice. nice. All right. So, what here is useful or valuable to me? Um, and that's in terms of, and that's bearing in mind my objective is regroup with the others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you, um, you ask a passing uh, guard um, where the where the the dungeon is. And he points you um, in the in the direction of of where. Wait, if he's dressed up as a guard, wouldn't he already know? And then that would arouse suspicion. I uh, I guess it would. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Okay, what he was useful. I I well, given that I passed it, I would be able to get that information. Maybe I don't ask the guard, but I just notice there's a lot of guards coming from there to reinforce it. So I just decide to follow them back, and it leads me towards it. Does that sound reasonable? It does. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. All right. Anything else you want to ask? Uh, I'm gonna hold on to my two hold um for the other two. Just because I think I might need it in terms of uh, d uh, demon hood, or possibly, or does it uh, will it carry over then, or do I need to use it now? Um. Right. Um. I think. I think in general, it's it's using it now. And, um, okay. Uh, what should I be on the lookout for then? Well, now that I'm inside his location. Okay. Um. Before you, before you came into, into the mansion, there was kind of a reddish, um, lightning sort of cloud hanging in the sky. Um outside of this this mansion um so you might want to be on the lookout for um anything uh very otherworldly or other plane ish yeah 
Okay, I'll definitely be keeping an eye out for that when whilst I make my way towards the dungeon then. I think the... Who's really in control here? And what I'm, my character's trying to assess here is, is this red glow kind of implying that this mansion or that the king has already fallen to darkness or is he still in control of his senses like does this feel like a full on invasion of some sort from another world um uh, you you don't get the sense that the king is really in control of the, the help that he, that, well, you don't know about the help, but you don't get the feeling that the king is actually in complete control of the situation. I mean, from, you know, there's a mob outside, those weird clouds swirling in the sky above the mansion, there's guards running around like crazy, it really doesn't seem like the king is, is in control. Um, Is it fair to say no one's really in control then, just because of how chaotic things are? Yeah, yeah. No one, no one here is in control. So to say. Okay, uh, Phoenix, you, um, you managed to go down the stairs to the dungeon, uh, just in time for the demon to give one more wrench of his, uh, chained hook, uh, yeah, chained hook, and, um, wrench it out of poor maid, uh, Catherine, and leave her a twitching and bloody mess on the floor. Uh, your um, your companions are holding her arms, um, but she is bleeding quite profusely. Like this is going to sound like a daft question, but I think it's justifiable given what my character's seeing. Does it look like they've just held uh, some helpless woman up as a? like offering to this demon because from where I'm standing they've held and imprisoned her so she can't escape whilst it stabbed it, her. Is that what that looks like or am I able to get the situation here? Because that uh, sounds really worrying suddenly. You can take that interpretation if you want. <laughs> Wisdom if I danger to see you. Well... Yes, hmm. I don't know. That's my Wait, do you, do, you have, do you have one more hold? You can ask what happened here. No, you, you made me spend all my hold before I left, remember? Ah, uh, sorry. Yes, yes. I, I did try and ho keep hold for just this exact thing, but you... Uh, but that's fine. Um, that would just make it more interesting for my character. Uh, I think I'm going to use the Bardic Lore one f first and foremost, though, to try and get some information on the demon... Yep. So that's, uh, uh, I can ask you any one question about it. Uh, what, what, um, okay, yeah, that, that seems fairly obvious. There's lots of to songs, legends, that kind of thing about demons. And I want to know for this specific kind of demon, how they can be banished back into whatever demonic worlds they came from. Like, what's their vulnerability, essentially? Right, that will get right. them out of here. Right, right. Alright, based on your bardic lore, you know that this demon is named Asmodrophus. And, um, he has preyed on elves throughout his history. Um, and one thing that um, the elves did manage to do to him over his, his preying on them uh, was to make him uh, deathly sick 
to um, blessed honey. So he, uh, he can't handle the sweet taste of blessed honey um, on his stomach, uh, in his stomach. So that is one vulnerability of Asmogufus. Okay, um, have I been noticed yet by everybody that's going on? Mm, no, they're pretty occupied by the demon and by the the grubs that are um, crawling, carpeting the floor. Um, by the by, um, those rat, those grubs are crawling up your boots and into your your flesh, um, the both of you. Yeah. Okay, am I still far enough away to be safe from weird grub things? Yes, but um, Adrian and Corvus. Um, mm -hmm. uh, okay, let me let me. I, I guess I should give you the opportunity to, to run away or do something about the rat grubs. Do you want to do anything about the rat grubs? Yeah, definitely. Kick them off. Uh, stomp on a bunch and then jump out of the way. <laughs> While they're dancing around like idiots, I'm going to reach into my rations and pull out a pot of honey. <laughs> if you have a pot of honey in your rations. Do you have any adventuring gear? I do have adventuring gear, yes. Okay, that comes Do you think it would be more suitable for an adventuring gear rather than a ration? Uh, yeah, just because, yeah, sure. rations are... Yeah, I figured it was chancing my arm a bit, but you know, it never hurts to try. Yeah, no worries, I'll use up one of the adventuring gears. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, your adventuring gear happens to have a pot of honey in it. Uh, what are you going to do with it? I'm going to toss it at that unsuspecting demon, aiming specifically for his stomach, and then as soon as it kind of shatters and leaves honey all over him, uh, I'm going to call out to Corvus, stab him in the stomach, stab him, stab him, stab him, and please don't be a traitor, uh, and then prepare to run away if it looks like he's going to stab me instead. <laughs> so, throw the pot of honey, stand near the doorway, yell a few things, and get ready to run if they all turn around to stab me. <laughs> Phoenix is a very brave and noble sort. <laughs> Um, actually, Adrian and Corvus are distracted by those, um, by those rat grubs that are, um, gnawing their way into their, their flesh. Um, I, I have to, I have... I feel like I have to cast magic missile or something just to attempt. Alright. Um <clears throat> the Wow. Alright. Ingrid, out of curiosity, why not just D six plus four? Uh, be right because the the way that crowds do damage is a little um, different. I'm dividing the horde of rat grubs into two sections: one to attack Adrian, one to attack Corvus. So there's like, you know, there's so many grubs attacking each of them, and all right, gotcha. It's just the way it's calculated on it then. Right, right, right. Um, the, uh, the rat grubs, um, get into your boots, and you can feel them gnaw their way into your, your legs, Adrian, Corvus, um, and they do, uh, 
they do uh, six damage as they eat their way in. I thought you were going to give them a chance to avoid it. Or did I miss that bit and they failed the rules? Um, I can't think of a way to avoid it except by running. Uh, and uh, as I approach, I um, jump over the grub, kick off the wall, and try to land on the demon. Spear point first. Ooh. Okay, make a dexterity to fight danger. Yeah, it looks super cool. It looks awesome. Alright. Wow, you are... You are riding, riding the demon. Wow. Okay, the uh, the the sweaty folds of the demon are slick beneath you, Corvus, and um, <laughs> uh, he he reaches up with a claw to um to uh to dislodge you <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to stab him in the stomach okay mm-hmm oh, oops. and I'll go ahead and Throw on that extra three damage. <laughs> John, knock the honey attack. The honey attack is clearly the most dangerous part of this. Hands down. <laughs> oh, God. Actually, I just thought of something. Eh, nah, it's not really a proper song, so I'm afraid I can't arcane art you to get your bonus damage. Alrighty, um, the... In a... The, uh... Your spear will stab into its stomach, Corvus, on the patch of honey, um... The demon will give a bellow, reach up, rip you off, slam you into the nearby wall as its stomach starts to gorge out more and more grubs. Um, uh, it will, it will stand there, um, wreathed in its aura of, of hell flame. And, um, uh, it'll pull its, its limbs into its, into its body and roll away towards the, uh, towards the black flame in the center of the corridor yeah, to get away. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Adrian. Okay. Remind me again, what did we do with the other half of the twin war? <laughs> you have both halves. In my possession? Yes. Oh, that makes it even more interesting. My thought is that I want to try to capture the torch, flame, candle, whatever, in the nether space, whatever, of the Twin War. Is there any way I can do this? I just pull both out, flip both open, and kind of clap them together around this this flame. Wow. Um. All right, make a um. (laughs) 
make a uh, make a shout lower again to see if you might maybe okay all right <sighs> okay you managed to block the flame you managed to capture the flame in the in in the mirror mm -hmm. um um, boy. Meanwhile, the demon rolling full speed towards that black flame um, is going to slam into you and slam into a wall slam mm -hmm. you and him into a wall mm -hmm. um crushing you for seven damage and his massive weight okay uh, that's that's corvus or adrian that's adrian okay all right um ingrid have i done it um uh, I'm gonna use arcane arts to heal Adrian. Okay. Uh, basically, saying that uh, lines I've just been typing out. So Adrian will be the target, unless Corvus, are you damaged more or less? No, I haven't taken any yet. Oh, cool. Corvus, I forgot your shield was glowing hot from the fireball. Alright, Clovis, that glowing shield did, uh, did three damage to you. I assume ignoring our... Yes. Okay. So I'm a little bit damaged, but oh. my, sick, my sick parkour skills mostly kept me safe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, uh, I don't know that Corvus knows anything about demons, but um, he's going to try to think, you know, um, to whatever knowledge of them he might have, and try to figure out if we kill it here, is it a situation where it's it's gone for good, or does it just, like, rematerialize back in the abyss, basically? Kill it with honey! Phoenix yells. <laughs> Why are you dressed yeah. as a clown? We'll, we'll talk about that later. I am not dressed as a clown. I am a clown. I am gonzo. <laughs> I'm also slightly drunk, but still, honey. Honey, honey, do 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 do. He starts doing a little song and dance routine, uh, which is why Adrian gets better. <laughs> Phoenix, the demon will notice you and your ridiculous dance raise a hand in rage and will send a hellish fireball towards you and your position at the end of the corridor shut up with that song I'm the only one that can eat things here uh -huh. yeah. I'm not eating anything I'm singing Phoenix points out uh, the fallacy of of his argument as he kind of, in mid-dance move, kind of does a diving roll to come up as if he's doing a cha-cha slide or something daft, and then claps his hands <laughs> hey, to try and dodge. Uh, so I'll defy danger with dicks. Oh dear. I think this might be the most ridiculous character I've ever created, and that's uh, seeing something. Oh yeah, perfectly executed dance move right there. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Um... <laughs> All right, you managed to tumble and waltz your way down the steps. Uh, 
enough to avoid the heat of the hellish fireball as it soars over your head. Adrian, meanwhile, tries not to start laughing as she wedges her feet up in between the demon and the wall and shoves it away and mutters, I am not your candy girl. Drops to the floor and then looks around to see which dungeon Lady Blackadder might be in. If that's possible. Ah... Oh my god. The uh Asmodrophus actually Adrian, you're kind of you're kinda of pinned in place. Um I shoved him away, does that require a strength? Uh, I don't think you're going to be able to do that. Okay. What about, um, bearing in mind he's got magical energy flowing through him uh, from the dance, that's quite a big boost. Are you sure even with that extra bonus damage he wouldn't be able to pull it off? Or she, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um... I could struggle and then think, oh... I have this long pole arm weapon and I will try to just wedge it into the folds and drive it very slowly deep in and see how far I can go. (laughs) Uh, The... Alright, you can make a strength to fight danger for that. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> We're doing all right. That's good. Eh? <laughs> no demon into the pot of honey. You go. Hmm. Uh. Okay. Uh, can I damage it and then add a two d four on that? Plus another two. Alright, your um you managed to get yourself some space, um but the uh the aura of hell flame around this demon is going to um is going to absorb the uh the blow that you direct at this demon. Okay. Um it glares down at you, Adrian and uh, yells at you to give me my way back. And he slashes at you with his his, uh, his hook on his chain. Mm-hmm. Um, no way I can dodge. Oh boy, you can, you can try to defend yourself. Or if Corvus or Phoenix, they could try and intercept. Um, or I, I, I'm afraid I've already said my next action is going to be the arcane arts. How quickly is this demon responding to everything around it? Because it's like fairly lightning fast. It's switching targets between everybody. I'm trying to work out if we can try and attack from all three sides and hopefully not get overwhelmed by this thing. Mm, that would be possible. Uh, sorry, Adrian. I'm I'm already mid cast, and I made up the song lyrics, so I can't go back now. So the song lyrics are <laughs> king. Uh, yeah, Corvus will try to knock the hook off course with his spear. Okay. You still have your hold from earlier, anyway, so you'd be able to use that to protect. Could you not? Um, I think that was specifically to defend Catherine. Oh. Oh, that didn't work out too well. <laughs> okay. Well, I saved her from the fire. That's true. Silver linings, yay!
Alright, so Corvus, you are trying to defend or trying to attack? Uh, or do something else? Hmm. So, uh, <laughs> this, this uh, claw on a chain or hook on a chain, does it like sort of boomerang through the air? Or does it go more in straight lines? Um, right. At the moment, he's holding the, uh, the hook at, at the hook part and kind of sweeping it down like a sickle towards Adrian. Oh, okay. I thought he was flinging it. Um, yeah. Um, I'm just going to, to skewer the demon some more then. Um, I'll aim for its hook arm. All right. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that thing's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, I'll throw on the 1d6 as well. <sighs> 25 damage, piercing two. On top of everything else, and the honey weakness. The demon's arm will explode as your spear shatters its, its infernal bones. Uh, the spear point will keep going through its head and piercing its you get, uh, phoenix. You get a good view of uh, the demon's eye stuck on the end of the, uh, the spear point as uh, Corvus... Uh, uh, attacks this demon. Um, it will the uh, the demon will make one last gesture with its hand. <laughs> with its and remaining hand. Correct. What's that? With its remaining hand, since we he just yes. exploded the other arm. Yes, with its with its remaining hand. Um, it's a obscene gesture as the arm falls. It sort of pulls out the finger and flops to the floor. No. Uh, and it will. It will. It will summon one last fireball towards you, Corvus. Um, which unfortunately will probably not be will be unavoidable. But let's see how much roasting damage it does. All right, it's 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 a weak little flicker of flame that comes at you for three damage that ignores armor. But um. With with that, the uh, the demon will uh, the demon will rapidly um, decay and um, uh, rot into a mass of stinking flesh, and maggots will crawl out of its body. And the aura of hell flame will slowly go out. Is there any uh, pending damage from the falling hook that I would need to be aware of? Um, or was it knocked far enough away by the blow from the spear? It, it was knocked away, yeah. Okay. Um, the, uh, the chain and the hook will dissolve. Um, into a brief flash of flame before disappearing. Hmm. Well, that was that was fairly successful. Um, I really 
because from where I stand, oh, standing's hard. Uh, she's dead. I point to the person that used to were holding at the start of it, who has yeah. uh, quite clearly been killed. Uh, is she dead? Uh, yeah, she's 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 about ripped in half. Yeah, she's dead. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Also, uh, and hold on for a second. Phoenix froze up, having just seen a demon be dismembered, rot rotting flesh, and somebody halfway up, but uh, halfway cut into, whilst plastered out of his face. I very much doubt he's keeping all that in sight. So yeah, he just projectile vomits over the insects. <laughs> uh, now, where were we? Yeah. Um. All right. Um, Phoenix, you get to carry the corpse. <laughs> Stuff that you got him ki got her killed. I'm here rescuing you. I didn't get her killed. I tried to save her. You did a mighty fine job, Corvus. Mighty fine. Look, there's still like what two thirds of her left. That remind me not to ask for your help saving me anytime soon. I like my body parts where they are. And yeah, Phoenix just steps past the body carefully. <laughs> And starts making his way towards the dungeon. Uh, <laughs> Shooting Corpus sure. a look of pick her up if she you're taking her, but I am not going near that body. Sure, next time you get to fight the demon and I'll just stand back and sing. <laughs> Corvus I get will, the feeling uh, it would not be, it would, would be easier than whatever that is. He kinda of gestures at uh, the cleanup. Uh, that's going to be involved. Yeah, as long as I'm not the clean up, uh, cleaner of this place, that works for me. So, um, Adrian, will you help me carry the body? Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, yes. All right. Uh, Corvus will lay her out on his shield and hoist one end onto his. Sh yep. And Adrian takes the other. <clears throat> and we better go find Lady Blackadder. I was looking uh, around for her. I couldn't tell which cell she's being kept in. Um, um right. You um you see a uh, a face in the uh, in the bars of the cell at the far end of the corridor, and um, you recognize it as Lady Blackadder. She's over there. The um, uh, are you guys bearing the body up to the up to the corridor above, or are you bringing it with you in the dungeon? We're now. I think for now. Okay, what's the priority then? I'm just gonna leave them to their grave robbing and uh, kind of go off to speak to Bl Lady Blackadder. There's a massive riot going on, I don't think touch handling one body is really worth the hassle. Okay. Um, we'll just bring it with us so we can, you know, make sure it gets a proper burial. Mm -hmm. I was I was thinking bearing it to Lady Blackadder, so while we talk to her, maybe she recognizes Catherine and can mourn a little bit. But I'm sure the Lady Blackadder will appreciate the fact you're bringing a dead body into her cell of one of her closest friends. Oh, me again. Why? Why do I hang out with you people? Use our sociopaths. Uh. <clears throat> I'm not the one dressed as a clown. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I'm not dressed as a clown. I am a clown. A I mean, I'm not going to argue with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Besides, <laughs> Lady, oh my God, said it suited me perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> can, we go, compliment, right? can we go rescue Lady Blackadder now? Yes. Sure, sure. I assumed we were having this conversation whilst we were wandering anyway. <laughs> Alright. Um The um The door of Lady's Blackadder's um uh cell. Um it looks like it had uh it had taken a swipe or two um, from the from the chain of the uh, of the devil that you guys just killed um, uh, you guys um, she says that she 
expresses her gratitude uh, for you guys rescuing her from that horrible monster that was attacking her. Um, and uh, she asks, she, um, she seems very sad uh, that her friend has met her end. Um, she promises that the maid will get a, a burial in full, full honor um, once she is reinstated as the rightful queen. Mm -hmm. um, but she is curious uh, what you guys have managed to find once the, once the shock has, has worn off of this attack. Uh, well, we really annoyed your brother. <laughs> um, I suspect is why he sent a demon to try to kill him. And you. Um, and we discovered that he hired the White Snake Brotherhood to frame you for uh, whatever it is that you were framed for. Lady Blackhead will say, I knew it. I knew it all along. Um, <clears throat> Adrian, the um, the two twin moors that you have kind of pressed together yes. um, around that black flame will give a shudder, and um, they will they will shatter into pieces as that black flame suddenly grows in size. Um, will it escape? Uh, yes. Um, it's going to settle down onto the floor and grow into a the outline of a of a door or a, a portal. Before um, it has a chance to grow, I'm gonna throw some water on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, where are you getting the water? Rations. Rations definitely include water. Okay. So right, I just open up one of my water. Uh, I just open up one of my water skins and pour it on the fire. <laughs> okay, mark off a ration. Um, <laughs> it does nothing to the flame. The flame keeps growing. Um, it's steaming a little bit as you pour the water on it, um, but it expands into a into a a doorway or a portal uh, big enough to. To walk through, and a voice will echo through it. Asmodrophus, where are you? You were due back. How long does it take to slay three innocent, three little peasants? Phoenix your messenger gestures. boy. Phoenix your messenger get boy. gestures to everyone else to shut up before they speak. Like no, no, no. <laughs> And then does his best impersonation of the demon and says, Master, they're all dealt with. I'll be joining you shortly. And uh, kind of leading him on to try and see if he'll t tell us where he's at. Uh, actually, I, 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 want, I want to rephrase that. The, who, whoever's talking right now didn't say peasants. Um... How, Asmodropus, how long does it take to slay three little mortals? Okay, that's better. Um, okay. Master, they are dealt with. I will be joining you again shortly. Uh, you guys are going to see uh, two uh, violet eyes peering out at you. Um, I'm with, I'm I, I, I quickly, I quickly uh, pull, pull up a, a demon disguise <laughs> and hold it over my face. <laughs> um. Wow. Make make a wisdom defy danger. Sure. What 
Asmodrophus, you've gotten skinnier. Was it that part of a battle? I sent some of the little ones on to feast. I, I kind of hold up one of the bugs and kind of give it a squeeze a few times and toss it away to the side. <laughs> well, how goes things with you, Master? Is everything under control there? <laughs> uh. At this point, would it be okay or would I have enough time for uh, Adrian to start a ritual of some sort in order to maybe like dispel the portal um that's a good point yes um the the lingering presence of the of the demon here is granting this plate this this uh, dungeon corridor uh, the feel of a um, of a place of power mm -hmm. so you could do a ritual here. Although it might have some additional, like, um, demonic sort of feel to it, or cost. I'm or okay with that. <laughs> um, let's just see what we can do. <laughs> All right. Um, as far as I know, you still have that necklace of cat transformation on you, Adrian. Do I? I don't recall ever picking that up. I thought it was taken by um, the thief. Uh, no, the thief had it and surrendered it to you. Okay. Um, so you've heard uh, the... Um, You've heard that uh, you can kind of tap into um, the the ma the uh, magical power of a of an of an of an enchanted item like this to bring about a uh, an effect. Um, so you think you can uh, using the lingering presence of the demon um, sacrifice that artifact. Mm -hmm. And dispel this portal with the energies of of that release. I'm fine with that, given that I didn't even know I had it in my possession at all. Remember that if you cut off this portal, our chance to get extra information for them is gone, and we don't really think from that. Right. But I have the feeling that if we don't get rid of it now. We're going to end up in there, and probably trapped. <clears throat> um, Corvus, do you want to make a judgment <laughs> call here? Do you want to aid or interfere with Adrian or Phoenix here? Um, I am going to ask the Ancestral Spirits what they think about this demonic port. Okay. Uh, okay, um, you're not getting a real good impression, but, um, you, you get this feeling that this portal is not, is not supposed to be permanent, it's just a, a, a gateway, um, from here to there, and then it will, it will vanish. This is not like a, um, an invasion portal. Right. This is just a, a transportation portal, if that makes sense. Yeah, uh, personally I'm fine with closing the demonic portal. Um, if we want more information we can just grill Lord Blackadder once we capture him, I feel like. Mm, yeah. Alrighty. Before um, we do that then I'm going to use uh, Charming and Open to ask it a question. <laughs> Alright. What is Charming and Open again? 
Uh, it's my bard skill. I'll copy and paste it over again. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't make. There it is. You got a map for it, Phoenix. Oh, sweet. Um. Where is it? Ah, yeah, it's down on the bottom there. Uh, the one I want to ask is how can I get you to leave this place alone and never come back? And the way he's going to be phrasing that question is going to be they are dealt with if are, but there are more coming. What could we do, Master, to require us to never have to come back here or what would they f what would be better what would they, how could they force us to never come back i fear they are planning it okay uh, um okay the um the uh the figure with the with the glowing violet eyes at the other side of this portal um, is going to say that, well, the King King Blackadder is in our hand. He will listen to what we what we recommend him do, and our other plans are in place. So I don't think we have to come back here ever again. So come back, Asmodrophus, and we will conclude our great strategy. I'm really tempted to walk through this portal and see if I could live as a demon for a while, but instead Phoenix will simply nod and say, Very well, Master, I will be with you shortly, I'm sure. And kind of nods to Adrian to close the portal. Yeah, she or she is just standing there chanting somewhat, and then breaks this necklace. And all of a sudden and hopefully something happens. <laughs> Alright, a, um... <clears throat> the, uh, the necklace breaks, um... Uh, Adrian, you will... <laughs> the spirit of the cat uh, infuses with mine and I become a cat permanently. No. <laughs> um... All right. Yeah, well, I, I, I think Adrian is going to close the portal before um, whoever this is can ask Phoenix anything. Um, so, all right. Um, <clears throat> The, um, Corvus, Corvus's spear had the, had an eye, had an eyeball of the demon stuck to it when he finally killed, uh, Asmodrophus. Um, that eyeball is going to float up to you, Adrian, and stick itself, um, what? into your forehead. Ah. Damn. Um. What? I claw at my head trying to dislodge it before it can do much <laughs> else. Um. The, uh. The eyeball hurts as you try and, uh, try and dislodge it. Um. But the. The energy of the necklace breaking will cause the, uh the black flame portal to snick shut and um, the uh, the dungeon will be will be silent and empty again except for the decaying corpse of the demon and the now three-eyed wizard standing here yes for the okay. demon eye Okay, uh, let's put a pin in the demon eyeball and get out of here. <laughs> uh, not not literally put a pin in the demon eyeball. We'll put a pin in the subject of the demon eyeball so that we can come back to it. Yes. Uh, 
Um All right guys uh Someone uh yeah. I was saying someone comes down with keys um All right the um the horde of of the mob outside has finally managed to to make it to the uh, to the corridor where you guys are standing. Um, the uh, the priest, uh, yes, sorry, the demon did. Um, besides the demon's decaying body, um, he left an obsidian crown behind um, and a scroll. That has a glowing uh, rune on it. Yeah, the scroll I will offer to take. Obsidian yeah. crown is mine, guys. I'm picking that up and plonking it in amongst my gear. <laughs> was that Corvus? No, it was Corvus. Alrighty. Um. The uh, Corvus, you're wearing the crown. Phoenixes. No, oh, no, I never said I was wearing it. I said I was t taking it and chucking it in my backpack. I'll oh, deal with the okay. crown later. Oh, okay. Yep. Obsidian crown in the backpack. Alrighty. Um. All right. The um the horde of of the uh, the angry mob um, manages to make it to the uh, the dungeon view and uh, the priest with the octopus on his head um, will hand you guys the, uh, the keys that he managed to. Uh, wrench off one of the guards and let Lady Blackadder out of the prison. Yeah. Um. That being said, is Lord Blackadder doing anything at this point to try to stop this no, guard? The demon, the demons already have Lord Blackadder. Oh, oh, I must have missed that. Well, I don't know that they said that they have him physically. I think what they said was he's he's our pawn, basically. That's what they said. Yes. Oh. Um. Well, have you? I'll I'll address the priest. Have you dealt with? Lord Blackadder and his men? Uh, no, he's he's holed up in his tower and uh, he's we uh, we haven't been able to get him yet. <laughs> um, Lady Blackadder snorts that tower. I know every back way into that thing. <laughs> uh, Much better than he does. I'll be able to get you in there no problem. Uh, Lady Blackadder um, does lead you guys up to a secret um, passageway that uh, has a peak hole out into the um, into the king's uh, tower chamber where he has uh, barricaded himself and um, okay. Uh, but ideally before we left the dungeon if I know we're going to be going into something serious I want them both operating on a boost do you guys need healing or do you need um, or are you both at full 
Uh, we're both a bit damaged, I believe. Yeah, a little bit. Not terribly for me. I think the option I'm going to use is that it reverberates around the room, so it affects more targets. So, I don't know who amongst them is another target that affects, but affects plus one. Mm -hmm. And we'll go with plus 2d4 damage. Uh, yeah, healing. Why not? A d8 healing for each of you. Boy, the bag is handy. Right. I think you're both at full health after that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a surprisingly good healing class, actually. <laughs> Bard. Probably better than Cleric. Over my maximum there. I'll just take this off to my maximum. All good. And then the 2d4 is just ongoing. Or... It's forward, so it's the next next time you do damage. Yeah, yeah. I'll make a little note in my character sheet that you're both on plus 2d4. Okay. Alright. Um, the, um, the single eye of the demon will blink as Phoenix, um, heals the two of you, and, um, the rotting court, the rotting body of the, of the demon will vanish into a, a, um, a flash of red flames. Oh, I'm sure that's fine. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> I wouldn't worry. The honey is meant to prevent any kind of resurrection being possible for the demon. I distinctly remember it from my stories. So, we're fine. <laughs> Also, you sure you don't want to deal with that before we move on? The eye? I really do. In fact, yeah, I think I'm going to bardic lower the eye and the crown whilst I'm at it. So, question for the eye is... I, I guess we'll just go basic for this one. Uh, what, what does it do? Um, you've heard some stories of people getting, um, getting hold of an eye of a demon, um, and it is, actually seems to be, um, it can inspire. One of the things it can do is it can, uh, see... Yeah. It can see disguised demons, um, among other things. Hmm, okay. It can what more are the other things? Um, that tends to vary from eye to, from situation to situation. Um, okay. Some I'll people. pass that information on to Adrian nonetheless, that it should help her identify different uh, demons. Cool. Well, that might be more beneficial than <laughs> a hindrance. Right. I can't remember what the negative repercussions of a demon eye are from my stories, but yeah, there might be some, so just be careful Other with that. Other than getting hit on at a bar, I... I see what you did there. I don't think it's likely. Phoenix says with a bit of a smile as he kind of gestures to his eye each time he says eye in that sentence. 
Sorry, sorry, I'll try and keep a lid on it. Yeah, that's how you guys get the mystical healing on the way to the tower. He makes eye puns the entire way there. Right. I'm not sure I want the healing now. <laughs> yeah. See, Bard's powerful, but it comes with a horrible, horrible cost. You have to put up with puns. <laughs> All right. So you guys, um, led by Lady Blackadder, um, are able to see what the what the King Blackadder is doing in his chamber, where he has barricaded himself in. Um, he is. Um, he is conversing intently with a crystal orb in his hand, um, and that orb is glowing with a with a purple light as he as he frantically talks to it. We might want to stop that from happening. If you sing really loud, can you make it shatter? Are you an operatic? <laughs> Believe it or not, actually, yes, there, <laughs> there is a there is a bard move that lets me play a shattering note that probably would destroy that, but I don't have the move, I'm afraid, so oh. Phoenix kind of just shakes his head. <laughs> okay. That would have been a hilarious end to a, a, an arc that shatters the demon ball <laughs> with a really bad note. Hmm. Can't you just stab it with your spear and make it go bang the old-fashioned way? Hmm. Uh, there's kind of a wall in the way. How can we see him if there's a wall in the way? There's like a people, but I don't think my spear will fit through it. Is there a door? Um, there is a secret passage door into the room, yeah. I'm going to discern realities for that people, though. I don't want to rush in blind. So I'm going to keep a careful watch whilst they start going down their pe uh, secret passageway. I'll follow afterwards. Um, I... Okay. Um, I do have to leave in about five minutes. Okay. Yeah. Why don't we, uh... Phoenix, do you want to discern reality real quick? And then we yep. can do all the experiences and stuff with Sure, um... What should I be on the lookout for? Okay. Um... You should be on the lookout um, this this king is 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 very very paranoid. Um, you should be on the lookout for any kinds of any kinds of traps or anything that the king may have put into this area. Um, this this area is definitely um, definitely trapped. Send in the NPCs first. Got it. <laughs> if only we had Agnar. <laughs> if only, yes, if only you had Agnar. <sighs> yeah, I, I would want to make one more move, but I'm not going to because it's going to cause more problems. And, hmm. Yeah. Okay, so experience, I guess. Yeah. All right. Um, how many fail? There was no. There was no failures to that. Well, there was. There was. I, I I failed one. I'm pretty sure. Okay. I don't think I actually failed one today. It's a good day. I think I failed. Uh, just it's a bad day. That's no more. experience. I want failures. Yeah, I think I. Failed just to spout lore on, uh, on a non-combat. Right, 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 right. Okay. 
show that one for Koi, this one for Adrian. Um, yeah. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up the 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 arc with the with the king and say that he gets um he gets put into jail. Oh, I want to shatter his orb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can continue. Well, um, I'm just wondering what to do about Joha because he was gonna sail off into the sunset. Um, Phoenix, what bonds do you have with Johan? Quite a few, actually. Uh, give me a second. Bro. Okay, so I had. I'm writing a ballad about the adventures of Johan. That's pretty much finished. I know I keep adding to it every session, but. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could just finish that up. Uh, I had Johan does not trust me, and for good reason. I screwed up his recruiting horribly. I don't think I can do that anymore. Uh, I told stories of Johan long before I ever met them in person, and Johan is often the butt of my jokes, which is now appears to be Corvus because <laughs> okay, he kills dead people <laughs> or makes dead people. I guess. All right, so so Johan is going to sell his gold belt that he got from the dwarves um, by a crew and small ship and sail off into the sunset once again. Um, so Phoenix, you can resolve those bombs. Um, I will resolve my one bond with him. Okay. Um, did we learn anything about the world today? I think we Bond, speaking of yeah. bonds, I would like to spout lore once to see if I know anything about this Asmodreus demon. Yeah. About about okay. about the demon we killed. Is he important enough to resolve my one bond with Corvus? That being, uh, Corvus will play an important role in the events to come. Like, we have rid the world of the demon of gluttony. Yeah? Uh, yes. Yes, you would know that the, that uh, Asmodophus was a demon prince. Um, and he was very high up there in the, in the hierarchy. Okay. Um, and that really shouldn't have been killed by you guys, but, uh... Nice, we killed the demon prince. Yeah. Uh, yep, so he is he's high up there, and I think you could resolve your bond with Corvus with that. Yeah. Um, did we gain any items? I don't think we've actually gained any important items yet. The obsidian crown? And the demon eye. Uh, and the demon eye. Okay, plus yeah. one experience for that. Yeah. Uh... Thing? Did we overcome a notable enemy? It should probably oh. be two for killing a demon prince. Okay, one experience to kill the demon prince. Yeah. And then I guess alignments for folks who made it. Alright, oh, alignment. Phoenix, you use... I... 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 Yeah, I, I don't know, Phoenix. It's almost too easy for you to get your alignment, Phoenix. What are you thinking we should change it to? Because personally, I agree, it's almost impossible for me not to perform at some point for people. Right, right. On um, the yeah, other, other hand, playing as a good bard who tr tries not to kill people is a challenge because I have to be deliberately dumb as f <laughs> get out, basically. Um, so, you know, it, is, it does have its own challenges, but yes, I would agree that it is a very easy alignment to uh, trigger. Yeah. Um, all right. I I don't know if Adrian or Corvus you did your alignment this session. What do you think? Uh, uh I don't think so. Magical mystery. Okay. I don't know if the um, if the fact that testing out two twin moors against each other is an adequate way to trap something, mm. and discovering that it is not under certain circumstances. 
Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure about that, Adrian. Maybe if you investigate, like, uh, who, who the person you talked to in the portal was. In the portal? Um, okay. I, I think that's a pretty good wrap, guys. Um, okay. I know Corvus, uh, has to go, so I guess we'll end it here. Alrighty. All right, yeah, good session. Bye. Catch you later, guys. Take care.